no one's going to replace me. When you look, I, I, don't, right, I didn't want to be me. So when this formed, I didn't want to be me. I wore a mask and I used a fake name. I was pushed into this position where I believed in it so much that it sort of escalated. And then I was in something that I can go out of. And I felt so strong for it. And I felt so passionately about it. And when people have watched what I've gone through with, it, with the personal, even there's, there's the six terrorists in jail that are going to kill us and murder us. No one's going to put their head on the block for this. And they're, they're not. It's the same as all these splinter organisations, these neo Nazi little fascist organisations have formed. No one puts their face up for them. They all hide behind Facebook groups. So, what's going to become of the EDL? I believe that if we do this right, I believe a lot of people will sit back and wait and see if this works. I believe a lot of the, lot of the support base, the messages I'm getting from, I'm getting a lot of hate, but a lot of the messages are saying we're going to wait and see and we're putting our faith and let's hope that this can bring change. And, and there has been a voice created. And whether people like it or not, the working class community need a voice. And, and these are issues that are deep in people's hearts. They're not born out of hate. So I don't know where, it, I haven't got a crystal ball, I don't know where it's going, but I know what I want to see in the future. 